Hello there. Well, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be recording some music using GarageBand in the workshop. But first, I've got to finish the French beans bed. I have to say it's a bit chilly today. We had a frost last night, it's the beginning of May. A bit too early to put the beans out at the moment, but at least the ground's prepared, ready. So, let's get on with this recording. I'll just put my jumper on first. A couple of years ago, I started a guitar club on a Wednesday night with a few friends, and we used to play covers. But with this lockdown, and inspired by all the music videos that people have put out on YouTube and various other formats, we thought we'd uh, do our own version of a famous Fleetwood Mac song, Man of the World. So my part in all of this is the bass. So I've got my bass guitar ready. I've got GarageBand ready on the iPad. Now GarageBand is a really good application. It's ideal for me in the workshop. Uh, I can finish gardening and then nip in and do a bit of recording. It's brilliant. Um, I need something to record the guitar with. And what I've done, I've built a really simple little box which has the special iPad connector on there, which allows for a microphone connection as well as a stereo output for the headphones. So that just simply goes into the uh, earphone socket on the iPad, and this is an iPad Air 2 I'm using. Uh, my headphones then plug into the um, headphone outlet, and my guitar goes into there. And in GarageBand, I can then set up uh, an amp simulator to record the guitar with. So I'm going to start a new project in the corner there. And first of all, I'm going to load the backing track. We're using a karaoke track to synchronize all our performances. And um, I've got that on my iPad here. So what I'm going to do is go into the audio recorder. I'm going to just set the lead vocals to clean. So this is the uh, recording. It's, it's not going to have any reverb effects or anything like that. I'm going to go now to the tracks and in the top right hand corner here, there's a little plus sign. I need to click on that and then and it says section eight, eight bars. I need to just change that so that it's automatic. And that means that when I import the audio file, it's going to stretch the project to fit the audio file, which is, which is what I want. So now I'm going to import the audio file and that's that little loop icon there. I need to uh, click on my files. Uh, I've already loaded them in and um, if there were in my files app on the iPad, I could just browse for them there. So, um, so for example, on iCloud or in Dropbox or something like that. So I'm going to use Man of the World, a karaoke version, but no vocals. I'm going to click on that and then I can just drag that into the project. So then I've got the karaoke version there. Great. So now I can set up a bass amplifier. So what I'm going to do there is uh, click on the choose instrument. Uh, I'm going to go onto the amplifier and pick on the bass. Now I particularly like the um, preset which is called nice definition. It uh, gives a nice bass sound. Now before um, I actually start playing, what I need to do is click on this little um, jack plug icon and just switch on the monitor so I can hear the guitar. And when I'm playing the guitar, I may need to adjust the input level there, uh, but we'll see that once I get going. Let's get recording. Now my creative vision for the video of this piece is to have it in black and white. So it sort of reflects the classic nature of this song. So here, and I want a good backlight. So here, this is an external light, which I have, um, let's say, bodged together to, to, to make a spotlight. So what I'm gonna do is clamp it up onto this post here handy little post and this will form a good backlight for the video we hope there we go let's switch it on brilliant okay so I've tuned the guitar I've got garage band all lined up so all I need to do now is go ahead and record it so uh, <clears throat> let's have a go here we go I'm 
also going to record um, a couple of little fills with my uh, Strat. So um, I've got the garage band all set up, um, all on cue. So um, I'm just going to start and record that. Okay, so that's the uh, little fills recorded. Now let's go and export these files. Now I'm going to be doing some final mixing of all the uh, tracks using Cubase on the uh, PC. So I need to export these WAV files and that's fairly straightforward to do. First of all we need to look at the mixer panel because I'm going to have to disable the tracks that I don't want. So um, I, at the moment I don't want the uh, final guitar part I did so I'm going to mute that. I'm also going to mute the karaoke part so the only thing I'm going to export at the moment is the bass. So having muted the other tracks I'm going to go back to the home page. This is my song 8 so what I need to do now is just touch on that with my finger until this menu pops up then press share at the bottom now I want to share the song and I'm going to use an uncompressed WAV file to give me the best quality so I'm going to press share and I'm going to save to Dropbox. So this first of all exports the song then it gives me an opportunity to rename it and choose which folder I'm going to save it to so I'm just going to change the name of that to base and I'm just going to save it to the root of my Dropbox. So that's going to upload that. Now with that saved, I'm now going to go back into the song. Uh, at this time I'm going to mute the bass and unmute the fills that I did and then go back and export that. Well, I hope I've inspired you to get your guitar out and produce your own music video, perhaps with a few friends. Amazing what you can do. I've used GarageBand today to record the uh, guitar parts, and I'm going to go mix it all in Cubase. But there is absolutely no reason why you can't use GarageBand to do the whole project. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see some more like this, please hit subscribe, and please feel free to give it a thumbs up if you like the content. See you next time.